Welcome back to the channel, everyone. This is the fourth and final ship from the Grand Army of the Republic Battle Pack. These are a Target exclusive. They can be found in store. They have also been showing up on the Target app. The price for them is $29.99. This is the Crumb Bomber. I have already reviewed Plo's Bros, the Separatist Nightmare, and the Coruscant Guard gunship. On the back of this beautiful packaging, there is some illustration showing everything that this ship can do, with a few more on the left-hand side. Now, if you've seen my other videos on the Separatist Nightmare, the Coruscant Guard gunship, and Plo's Bros, then you know everything that this ship can do. However, if you don't, I'm still going to go over all the major points of this ship so you can get a good idea what it has in store. This is the first of its kind in a battle pack. It comes with five clone troopers and a bark speeder. Now, before we cut into this, I gotta say the team at Jazzwares has done an amazing job at this box and box art. Just this entire line displays beautifully. All right, here it is, one of the most recognizable gunships in the Star Wars series. This is the Crumb Bomber. Now, what makes this ship different than the rest is gonna be the paint applications at the nose of the ship. So it has a quacking monkey lizard holding a bomb, and there's some orbish that says, laugh this off. Here, I'll give you a good close-up of what that looks like. So they've done a fantastic job on these paint applications throughout all the noses of these Republic gunships. It looks clean, nothing looks like it's flaking off, there's no bleed or anything like that. So very impressed with that, especially since that is basically the highlight of the ship. And like the rest of these ships in this Grand Army of the Republic, it comes with five clone troopers, one pilot, four shinies. Here is a close-up of the bark speeder it comes with, and the front turrets are in the correct positioning. Now, if you saw my Plo's Bros gunship review, my front turrets right here were actually on backwards. And it doesn't seem like it's happening with every gunship. It just seems to be kind of like a random thing that's going on. Now, these bark speeders do come with transparent stands, and there's two notches on them, so you can display them two different ways. So we have our traditional here, and we also have one on the side side where you can have it more of in an upright position and so something that I've been doing is painting foam pieces to like match grassy terrains or dirt terrains and I just stick this into the foam and it gives the appearance that it's like floating above the ground. Okay, something I wanted to do since this will most likely be my last gunship video, at least until the tiger comes out, but here is every single clone trooper I have. Now this has been a combination of blind boxes, regular Republic gunships, and then obviously the Grand Army of the Republic. I have seven pilots and then I have 20 regs. I'm supposed to have 28 because one of my ATRTs is missing one, so um, he is somewhere, he's somewhere MIA, but this is 27 of them, and they just look so good. I mean, clone troopers are just key army building figures, and um, this just brings me a lot of joy to be able to see this many clones, especially in this small of a scale. <laughs> This will now be the fifth gunship I have reviewed on the channel, so most of you should know how these gunships go. There's a lot of articulation and a lot of features to this, but those of you that don't, I will still go over the major points. We will start with the front of the ship. There are two turrets here. They're on a ball joint within the ship itself. They cannot be removed. However, they can articulate 360 degrees. Bringing our attention to the cockpit, it is on a hinge joint. You can see there's some transparent glass that will allow you to see our pilots within that, so the hatch can open up. There is some sculpting and detail on the inside of the cockpits, a little bit of weathering, but no real big paint applications. I went ahead and put two pilots in there, borrowed one from an extra gunship that I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fully load out this gunship. From the cockpit, we will look at these bubble turrets. They have articulation moving frontwards and backwards. That is 135 degrees. Unfortunately, they do not move upwards or downwards. That would have been something nice to have, but I'm sure they can only fit so much articulation in this small of a scale. These turrets have a nice transparent plastic to them, giving them a glass-like appearance. These hatches will open up, allowing you to put a single clone trooper in there. There is some sculpting to this chair, making it look like there is some padding, and if you look closely you can see there is a clip right there that will help hold the clone trooper in place. We'll put a pilot in there manning this turret. Once he's in you can close the hatch and it is on a hinge joint. And of course we got to put one on the opposite side also. One of the most important areas of this ship is going to be the cargo hold. So these panels on both sides can open up moving forwards and backwards. To open it there is a little lip right there. Use your nail or your wife's tweezers, pop it open and that will slide it forwards and backwards. Once you do that, it will make it a lot easier to place your clone troopers in those little clips. I find the easiest way is to place him in sideways, and then once you do that, just kind of spin him around. 
Now this would be considered a full ship, at least as far as designated areas go. Now if you saw my other videos, I put 16 cologne troopers in that cargo area. So I'm gonna try to do 18, maybe 20. Okay, I beat my record. I put 23 clone troopers in this cargo hold. I have 12 on that side, and then I have 11 on this side. So I'm just, what, seven shy of the 30 capacity? Okay, back to business. We can still close up the panels and see our clone troopers on the inside. From there, we will look at the rear of the ship. There is a turret here, and it's also on a ball joint and can move 360 degrees. Just below that is our loading ramp. You can see there's some sculpting to it. It opens up, it's on a hinge joint, and you can see there is a peg in here, and that will allow us to store that bark speeder. You can see there's some sculpting to that loading ramp. There's no real paint applications, but there is a little bit of weathering. The speeder fits on here just like it would the stand. You just line up the slot to the peg, push it in, and it will close up. What's nice about this is you can actually take the speeder, flip it around, and you can create a scene as if the speeder bike is getting ready to launch, so you're getting ready to fuel it up, you can put some clone troopers around it, and honestly just create a cool scene for your collection. On the underside of the ship, there's no real big paint applications, just the standard ones we've already seen with our gunships. These turrets at the wings also have articulation. They're on a swivel joint, and they can both spin 360 degrees. The last cool thing this ship can do is disassembly. Once we remove that hatch, you can see the missiles there, which look really cool. They're sculpted in there. You can see there's some gold to the base and also the tips of the missiles. Our Series 2 gunship has that like bronze look to it, whereas our Series 3 has that gold. And I much prefer the gold. It just looks a lot sharper. Now, not only can we take off this hatch, but we can take off both wings and we can take off both of these panels also. And like I said in my previous videos, I think that's a pretty cool feature to have because you can honestly create a scene as if your gunship was shot down out of the sky and there's just pieces all over the place. Or you can have it as if the clone troopers are repairing the ship and they're putting pieces back together. All right, here it is, all four of the Grand Army of the Republic gunships and they look so good. I'm very happy to have all four of these, even though they are basically repaints throughout the entire ship, but that's what it is in the series. It is a basic gunship with repaints all over them. So I went ahead and put that standard gunship there at the top. Now, looking at all these, I gotta say, I think I'm still partial to the Separatist Nightmare. I love the color green, like I've said before, and then I love the idea that there's a clone trooper with like a skull to it. I think that's just so awesome. But that might change once we actually get the Tiger. But Plo's Bros is probably a close second for me. I love the color scheme to that. Plo Clone, great Jedi, and I just love the idea that the clone troopers were so proud to be fighting alongside a Jedi that they were like, we're gonna put his face on the side of the gunship. I just, I think that's just so awesome. But I'd love to know what your thoughts are down below. What's your favorite gunship and which one will you be picking up? Okay, that's gonna wrap up this review and unboxing of the Grand Army of the Republic, the Crumb Bomber. The price for this is $29.99. It was popping in and out of stock on the Target app, but it seems like Target has taken that listing down. So I'm not sure if that's temporary or permanent, but you can still definitely find this in store. This has all the features that we already know and love from our previous gunship. I was able to fit 23 clone troopers in this cargo hold, so I thought that was pretty impressive. There's some great articulation to these gunships, even at this small of a scale. The paint applications on the sides of the ship that identify each one are done really well. Something that I would have liked to have seen would have been articulation to move up and down on those bubble turrets and maybe removable missiles here at the top. But all in all, I think they packed quite a punch in this small of a scale for the price. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to find me on Instagram where I do toy photography, toy videos, toy hunts, toy deals, and all things toy related. Link in the description below. I post heavily on my stories when new things drop. And if you like this video and you want to see more of it, be sure to like and subscribe. It is free and we will see y'all in the next video.